Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a lookup form. Um, for example, if a customer were to call the store and wanted some information, or maybe they had a complaint or something on their invoice, you want to be able to have a search function within your system where, you, for example, you can put in the customer's name and then have a uh, report pop up that would give you all the information about the customer's purchases since the very beginning of time, the invoice number, um, the date of their purchases, what items they bought, how many they bought, and the total amount of um, uh, money they spent, and so on and so forth. This So this can be an extremely useful feature on any uh, management information system. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a form. We're going to go to Create, and we're going to create a blank, or go, let's go to, rather, um, Form Design. Let's choose Form Design right here. Now, from the form design, what we're going to need to do is we need to use something called a combo box. So from the controls here, go along the uh, icons here until you get to this icon here. When you hover your mouse over, it says combo box. So we'll click on that. We'll go down to our form. And we'll just draw a combo box on there. There we go. Now, it says here, I want the combo box to get the values from another table or query. Well, we want to get the customer's name, and we'll find the customer's name on the customer table. So I'll choose next. Here's our customer table right here at the top. I'll choose next again. And I want the customer name. So I'm going to move that over, choose next. I'm going to want to sort by the customer name, choose next again. And of course, this is a list of all our customers. Okay, And we're hiding the, uh, the ID key. We don't need that. And we'll choose next again. What would we like the name? Uh, we'll just call it customer or customers rather. And choose finish. Okay, so we've got our label here, customers. Now on the unbound box where this is going to appear, what we need to do is we need to go to the all tab. Now, if you don't have your property sheet, if it doesn't come up automatically, you just have to make sure that you're on the form design right here go over to tools, and then you'll see property sheet. So we'll select that and from the all tab, let's call it combo customer. Okay, so we'll know what that field is. And we'll choose okay. Now we have to give it a name. So we're gonna call this customer, let's call it customer search. And we'll choose okay. Okay, then let's close it. And down in your forms now, you will now see a form called customer search. So we open that up, we hit the drop down menu, and now we can see all of our customers here. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to create an app or rather a query that when we select a customer, for example, they call up and we want to select their name, it will give us all the information on that customer. So let's close this for now. And we're gonna go back to create, and we're gonna choose query design right here. Okay, now just something, um, let me just close these up here. Just something to be aware of when you're selecting query design, please make sure that you're, you, you didn't accidentally um, highlight the cross tab or any of these other ones. You wanna be on select right here, okay? Otherwise, you're going to start to build out your query, and then it's it's not going to work. So please, when you open up Query Design, make sure that select is highlighted. So now we want to bring over some tables. We want to bring over our, our invoice table. Okay, we're going to want our item master table that carries all of the information about the products. We're going to want our invoice detail table. Okay, and we're going to want our customer table. Now, you can see that all these tables are related. We have built a relational database model connecting all these tables. Now, what I'm about to show you in this example, you can use it with your system, what, you know, with this, you know, two or more tables, whatever, um, whatever system that you're building and whatever information that you want to extract when your customer um, calls you. You could be running a system, a bookstore, 
for all I know. And maybe you just want to know the title of the books. Well, you'd have a customer table, of course, and maybe you've got a list of book items and it'll pull over the title of books. So it doesn't really matter about how many tables or you know, few tables that you have. The process that this video is going to cover will work the same on, on all, of this, all of the items. Now, what's important here is the, because I want to pull up the information about the invoices that um, apply to the customer, what I want to do is I actually want to get the customer name from the invoice table, not the customer table. Okay, so this would be considered the, the parent table and the child table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, double click on customer name. That's gonna fill down here first. Then I'm gonna want the invoice number. So I'll go to the invoice table again, double click on the invoice number. I'm gonna to wanna to know the date of the purchase. So that's right below it. Then I wanna know the product name, what the customer bought. And I'm gonna get that from my item master table right over here. Okay, so there is the product name. Now I want the quantity that the customer purchased. That's coming from my invoice detail table. There's my quantity. I'm gonna want the retail price of the items that I can get from my item master table. Okay, and that's all set. Now I'm going to save this query and I'm gonna save this as um, query customer search. Okay, query customer search. And I'm going to select OK. I've seen it. It's, it showed up here. And I'm going to close it. OK, now let's test. Oh, one more thing we have to do here. OK, so we have all of our uh, customers actually listed here. But what I need to do first before we uh, test this out is we have to set a criteria. In other words, what we have to do is we have to connect our customer uh, query search to the actual search form, okay? So we have to connect the form to the query, okay? Now, how we are going to do that is we're gonna go down to this um, column name here where it says criteria. We're gonna click down in here so it's flashing. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go up to the top here where it says Builder, and I wanna click on Builder. And now here's my access file. So I wanna expand this. Here's our forms. I wanna expand the forms. Here's all forms. I wanna expand that. And then what I wanna look for is the customer search form that we just created. Here it is here. Now, if you recall, when we built that form, the unbound box, we gave it a name and we named it combo customer. That's what we're going to use for our criteria. So I'm going to double click on that. And you should now see in your expression builder forms. I've got customer search, which is the name of the form that I created and the name of my unbound box. And I'm going to select. OK. And I can see that that is populated down here. Now I'm going to save it. Okay. Now I've set this up um, to be activated. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to my customer search form. I'm going to pull up a customer that I know I've got some invoices for. I've got Trish uh, Gorski. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to open up my query customer search. And you can now see it has filtered just on Trish Gorski. I can see her name. The invoices that she um, that she got, as well as the date of sale, the quantity, and the retail. So I'm going to close this now. Okay, and I'm going to close this. I'm going to reopen my search. Whoops. I'm going to try another customer here. I should just oh, uh, I'll try her again. I want to go back to my, my query because I want to go back into design view. There we go. Now, so we've got that information there. Now we want to get some additional information uh, about, this, uh, about this customer. So we've got the invoice number, the date of sale, the quantity, and the retail. 
Now, I'm interested in knowing the uh, product, what it was that she uh, had purchased. So I'm going to double click on product name. And I'm going to pull that down. And then what I'm interested in now is I want to know the actual um, total of the purchase. So I'm going to click in this field, an open field here. I'm going to save. Okay. And now we're going to go up to our builder. And what I'm interested in, in is on each line, I want to multiply the quantity purchased times the retail price. Okay. So I've got my quantity times retail. Okay. I'm going to select OK. And then I want to be very careful here. See where it says expression one. I'm just going to click in there. And what I want to do is just get my cursor just to the right of the, the one, flashing of the one, back it up. And I'm going to put um, total retail. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go over to my property sheet. I'm going to select format. And I want it to come up as currency. Okay. I'm going to save it. The next thing I'm going to want is the HST. So I'm going to click in another open field, go back to my builder. And what I want is I want to take my total retail. Here it is. Now it's really important, guys, after you create that formula in that open column, you must hit save. If you forget to hit save and you go back to your expression categories, you're not going to see that new expression show up, okay? So I'll double click retail and HST for our tax here in Ontario is 13%. So times 0.13. Um, whatever province you happen to be in or state or wherever you happen to be in the world looking at this, you can just apply your tax amount. I'm gonna choose okay. I'm going to format this as currency. I'm gonna save it. Now I want to go back here and carefully name this cell HST, and I'm going to save it again. Okay. Then the last thing I want is the actual total. Okay. So I'm going to click into an open column again. I'm going to choose my builder, and I want HST plus my total retail, okay? That'll be a combination. I'm going to click and change the title. And we'll call this, let's just call this invoice total. Now it's gonna be by line item, but that's okay. I'm going to save that. I'm going to form, oh, it's already formatted as currency, so that's great. And I'm going to close it and close it again. Close my search, go back to my form, retry it again. There's my customer. Open up my customer uh, search query. And now I can see I've got my customer's name, all the invoices that they've um, created or you know, uh, uh, the receipt for all the purchases that they made in my business, the date of the sale. I can see the quantities they purchased, the price they paid, the model number of the product, the retail price, the HST, and then the total invoice. So I can see everything about that customer. Now, I just want to close this for a moment. Sure, I'll save that. I want to just pull up another customer. I don't have a lot of invoices created on my system. Uh, let's try a Dylan Bellinger. Let me see if I've got, and there's one item there. There's a Dylan Bellinger. Run my query search. And there he is. There's Dylan Bellinger, invoice number four. He came in on February 23rd, and he bought three of these uh, LG 65-inch TVs, and there's the price that he's paid. Okay, so that's working perfectly. Now, we can do one more thing, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, make a report. 
And then we'll put a button on here to save us from having to flip back and forth. So let's close this. We'll leave this query highlighted that we just created. We'll go to create, and we're going to choose under reports, report wizard. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna want all of the fields on my report that are in my query. This should be your query should be showing up here. I'm gonna to go to next. See, it's got my customer name and then it's got all the information below. That's perfect. I'll choose next again. I'm not gonna worry about ascending. I'll choose next again. And I want a landscape form. I want it to spread out. Choose next. And we're gonna call it report. Customer search. Except I typed search wrong. There we go. Okay. And finish. Close it. Select OK. I'm going to flip over to report view. Cancel it. Click and save it. and close it, okay. All right, so let us open up the customer search form now. We're gonna to go to design view. And this time we're gonna go on form design and I'm gonna add a button here. I'm gonna draw a button on here like this. When my command, uh, command button wizard shows up, I'm gonna choose report operations and I want to select open report. I'm going to choose next. And I want to open up um, report customer search. Go to next. And I'll just leave open report. That's fine. And finish. I'm going to save. And I'm going to close. I'm going to open it back up. Choose a customer. Choose this customer again. Okay, open report. And now I can see her report. I'm just going to adjust the layout here. Okay, now you can go in and modify your report. In design view, you can change and widen the colors and all that. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. It's just a matter of formatting. But now you can see we now have a form that we can go in, we can choose, you know, if a customer happens to call up, we can just get their name, select a report, and the report will give us everything about the customer, the invoice number, the date of the sale, the quantity, the product, and the total amount that they've purchased. We'll have to do another video on formatting a report. We'll have to just, what we want to do here is we just want to go into design view and widen up the columns, add a color, add your title, and do all that uh, sort of stuff so that your report comes up. Looks very neat, it looks presentable, and we can even add a print function on here to print it off. So this I hope you'll find very helpful. It's a very powerful tool. Um, once you've designed it, it will give you instant information on your customers. And, and there, you can even design one for your suppliers, for example, um, if you wanna take a look at some specific supplier that you purchased from, you can put in your supplier name, run a report, and it will show everything that you have purchased from that supplier. We can get on to um, defining this a little bit further. And I may do this in subsequent videos where we can put filters on here, for example, if we just want to filter on specific dates to take a look at purchases or sales within specific dates on a report like this. So I hope you find this uh, very helpful. It is a uh, fantastic, um, relatively simple, um, um, form to put into place that will provide you a lot of information on your business in a very, you know, with a, just a matter of a couple of clicks. So once again, thanks for joining me and we will see you on the next video. Bye for now.